Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you different ways to add levels into your elevation and floor plan in Revit. Let's get started. So I open up a new architecture template and I want to show you guys different ways to add levels. So at the moment, we have level 1 and level 2. That's the default for architecture template. So to start, let's go to elevation, south. And here we have level 1 on 0 and level 2 at 4 meters or 4,000 4, millimeters. So I usually just add levels. The simplest way is by going to architecture and click on, clicking level or shortcut LL. So I do this and as you can see level 3 is added to your elevation and to the floor plan. I usually do this when I have projects that are not more than 5 to 6 levels. So let's do it again. I'm gonna press escape architecture, level, and then click, and then click again. That's for your level two. You can change elevation right from here. Or by dragging it around so that one is the basic one another option is to go to your modify and then clicking copy so I'm gonna click the level first and then I'm gonna click copy and then I'm gonna check multiple and you can then add more levels so five six and then seven but if you notice level five six seven did not appear to your floor plan and with that we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to show that later on so another way is to use array so I'm gonna click level 7 and then I'm gonna press array so once you do that you can put how many numbers here so I'm gonna put 28 and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna array this in 4,000 or 4 meters so once you do it will create level 8 up to level 34 and as you can see the array that we did is with this line that's showing that this is an array levels also, if you notice, it didn't appear to your floor plan. So now, in order for that to appear, you will need to go to View, and then click Plan View, and then click Floor Plan. So now, click on Level 5, scroll down, hold Shift, and then click level 34. Once you do that, you will be able to select everything and then press OK. So now it will appear on the floor plan. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.